This is Damon L. Jacobs of We Love Soaps TV. We're here for 2011 Broadway Cares, the last one. Stay tuned for the interviews and insights you want to see. This is Damon L. Jacobs with the beautiful and multi-talented Emmy-winning Robin Strasser. I'm so happy to see you tonight. Thank you. You just liven up the room. I'm serious. Oh, get out I love, of here. Oh, come on. You know this. You know this. It's such an honor to see you here. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be here. This is a great night. I certainly hope it's not the last time that we do this kind of show for Broadway Cares, Equity, Fights, AIDS. And you noticed how I said we. Yes. The we. The we but if they do it again next year, I'm taking voice lessons. I am telling you, voice, dance, whatever it takes, I want up there. Because it was so magical. It was wow. so magical, wow. wasn't it? Wow. I mean, some of our people just look like the Broadway curtain's ready to rise, and they, they're going to play <laughs> big leads. They're, they're astounding singers. Well, and so many of these actors, I mean, One Life is a phenomenally talented cast. They have so multi-talented, and a lot of actors have told me that some of the training and discipline they get is from sharing screen time with you because, quote, I have to bring my A-game with Robin. I have heard that on several occasions. Okay. I'm just saying. But on a more serious note, I also felt concerned when I heard that this was the last year of Broadway Cares. I work in the yeah. HIV community. I work in prevention. <laughs> um, for those of us that are working in the community, there's never enough money for, for housing, for medication. Yeah for food and it, I was a little sad to hear that this was the last year that ABC was going to be participating in this. What do you think still needs to happen to make sure that there are services for people in need? That's a big question, okay, because what would the economy across the board, all of the charitable organizations, the educational uh, orgs are hurting for money, yes. okay? Um, on the bright side, I hope that ABC will follow through because Broadway cares, Equity Bites AIDS, we're here in New York, Broadway, duh. But you could put on a musical show like that in Los Angeles or Las Vegas or anywhere and the daytime community has always been so responsive about supporting good causes and especially Broadway Cares. Yes. You certainly are, so not just for HIV but for Katrina, you really, you were big yes. a part of raising yes, money we, for that. Well, we did and uh, we gifted the last two large gifts, one a cash gift to VH1. Save the Music Foundation, and then it gave me gave me great pleasure to donate a grand piano to the Hattiesburg Sanger Theater with a plaque on it in celebration of the life of Phil Carey. Oh, and sweet. all the money, a hundred cents out of every dollar, went to helping children recover through music. So it's like I remember when the hurricane struck. I thought. Where, where's our Ben and Jerry's? Where's the salad dressing? Where's, you know, how can we find our Paul Newman, comp you know? So with daytime, you have a rich talent pool. And you know, the fans accomplish miracles. If they ask for us to do cooking shows or any little things, we'll show up. We really do. That's so awesome. You've always, I mean, you've always been committed to helping others in causes, at least as long as I've been following your career. Why is that? Um, I think there's, there wouldn't be a comfortable way to live without doing that, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, to whom much is given, much is expected, yeah. and those of us who are working uh, actors, it, it's a goofy thing. Most of us decided when we were two, three, five, six, seven years old that that was the only thing we wanted to do. We couldn't breathe unless we performed, dressed up, pretended we were other people. And we're allowed to do it. In my case, there's even some longevity to it, and they pay you for it. Wow. Do you know what I'm fussing with here? What's I'm very that? proud oh, of that's, this. Oh, that's so this gorgeous. Is, um, of course, the AIDS ribbon, but it's about 20-something years old. Wow. The, um, it was a fundraising uh, piece that was an original from Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. 
uh, DIFA was the organization that made it, and uh, I bought six of them, and I gave them out as presents, and this is the last one left. Oh my gosh. So I had wow. to bring it out for this no, event. I'm glad you shared that with us. Oh. It means so much. I'm glad you're here and just showing your presence and showing your support tonight. My pleasure. One of the struggles that I have, I, I do outreach for HIV um, vaccine trials. So actually the National Institute of Health has a phase two clinical trial going on. Mm -hmm. And I go around town in the middle of the night to bars and clubs and talk to people about vaccine trials. Um, and we're trying to get men between the ages of 18 and 50 who are HIV negative to consider participating in a vaccine trial. Wow. What would you say to someone just about learning about that? Would you think that it's a good idea for someone to find out if they are in a position to help or if you were able to be part of a vaccine trial would you ever want to learn about it to, to do it kind of putting you on the spot but yes and only in a spot in the sense that the specific question you are asking is something I don't entirely mm -hmm. know about mm -hmm. but knowledge is power yes. the more we learn about our physical being the more self-knowledge you have about where you come from spiritually and mentally, the better off your life is going to be. Right. I so, agree. Absolutely. It, you know, being um, available to new information and if you can help achieve new technologies. I mean, for goodness sakes, give blood. I'm sorry. You know, you don't have to be a millionaire to give somebody something well, that nothing else can replace but a pint of human blood. Except as gay men, we can't give blood because of the homophobia of the really, FDA. Yeah, baby? Yeah, I can. I'm, I protested. my. They've got all my information on a database because I have protested the fact that the FDA practices, That's in my opinion, bigotry. They won't allow gay men to give blood. But this is also one of the things we can do as gay men is learn about the vaccine trials and possibly participate. That's why I was I went through them, and that's why I'm an educator for them now. Yes. Because um, it was my opportunity I'm a to give back. I'm embarrassed that I didn't that's know okay. that. That's okay. That was like, that's was okay. That majorly stupid. No, no. You know, it, it's a part of bigotry in this culture that a lot of people aren't really aware of. So I'm really glad we're talking and about it. And I'm just it. a dumb hetero chick. <laughs> you are gorgeous, and <laughs> you're Robin fucking Strasser, for God's sake. <laughs> 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 not even, not no, even, no, no, not no, even. No. But, but you, I agree. I for say those we need to educate ourselves. Yes, we need to be right? educated, and for those so who can give blood good. and those who can do it, it's such a simple and powerful way to save a life. Yeah. And I, yes, so I want to thank hard you. I know, uh, yeah. I know. I save my, I save my toughest questions for my toughest customer. <laughs> um, but I really honor you and respect you and love Aww, the work you do. Thank so. you. With the gorgeous and talented Florencio Lozano and the gorgeous and talented Ted King. How are you both? Fantastic. <laughs> How did it go tonight? Um, he was all right. I was wonderful. <laughs> As always. Very right about that. <laughs> why? Why do you say that? No, I don't. Are you just being all. humble? I'm being a good brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So I am loving the show. I'm loving having you on the show. That that Taya has a brother now, sort of from no, out of nowhere. But you two have a very close bond that shows on the show. Did you know each other very well before Ted started? In a past life. Zero. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zero it also no, in all the soap world is what your past had never crossed. Uh, we just she just slapped me at the beginning of the show and everything was good after that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> How is it for you to be back on daytime? I'm very happy. Very happy to be in New York. I love the city and I'm happy to be back in the building where I started it all and and uh, working with a great cast. Yeah. yeah. You know your background goes back to loving and the city. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen on daytime since you, back then? No time to mess around anymore. Did you mess around a lot back then? Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of practical jokes back then. I try to sneak a few in here and there. Okay. Um, you know, something that, that I, on a more serious note, feel concerned about is that this is the last year that Broadway Cares is doing this with ABC. Um, you know that, that I'm very touched and concerned about HIV and the, and the spread of HIV. What do you two think about this being the last year, and, and what do you think we can still do to keep the awareness up there? Wow. That's a great question, and I think it's a really important one to ask. Uh, at the same time, you know, uh, let's hope it's not the last one. I mean, we can always hope for that. And... Uh, plan other functions that that will help us raise money I mean I'm really proud that we've raised in seven years I said a million dollars that, that's you know as an entertainer to feel like I have some part of that is is wonderful and we need to find another way to 
to continue to do that. And and just to say, because you're not, uh, you know, you to boost, you you do do. I mean, you do active things to promote HIV. You raised hundreds of dollars for Godzilla. We delivered at the Will Clark Show a few weeks ago. So I mean, I know that you've been very active and continue to be. What else do you think we all need to be doing to make sure that this stays in the limelight and that people are aware that HIV is still with us? Uh, anything you do on a daily basis. I mean, just 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 keeping it in the conversation. The daily yes. conversation is what's yeah. going to keep this uh, fight alive and and um, and encourage one another to uh, constantly participate in uh, in the lives of others that are less fortunate.